first one is we introduced a new runtime environment for Apache Spark in uh, 5.26, which was released about three months ago. And in five, EMR 5.28, which was our latest release in November, we have switched on this runtime environment by default. So what is this runtime environment? This runtime environment is a performance-optimized version of Apache Spark that is 100% compliant with the open source version of Apache Spark. That means we are not breaking any, uh, any API compatibility. We are not changing how you use Spark. If you're using Spark 2.4, it'll run perfectly fine. But we are adding performance optimizations that make Spark run faster on top of EMR. So when we compare ourselves to uh, with the version we, we had last year, which was without the runtime and which was plain vanilla uh, open source Spark, we are roughly about 2.6 times faster than with the, run, with the runtime environment. So if you compare Spark 2.4 running, vanilla Spark 2.4 running EMR 2.6 last year to this year, I think there is a significant performance improvement. These results that you see are <clears throat> all based upon TPC DS tests. We took about a three terabyte data sets and ran those tests, and that is our, uh, our benchmark. Take these benchmarks with a grain of salt. Um, what really matters is when you run your workload, your performance may vary, but we have a high amount of confidence that when you move from an older version of EMR to a newer version of EMR with performance optimized version, I think you will get a shorter runtime and you will save a lot of costs. Here are a couple of other uh, scenarios. So if I look at the total runtime, the total runtime of TPCDS queries, it has reduced by 2.5x from the previous version or the previous open source version without the runtime. And then when I look at the geo mean, it has also improved significantly. So let's dig into what's happening. So if I, if I take a cross-section of long-running queries, and lo uh, by long-running queries, I mean queries that run anywhere north of 90 seconds or more, we see roughly about 5x improvement in long-running queries. So this graph shows you the TPCDS queries, and on the y-axis is the average speed up when I compare it to the open source version without the runtime. We also see about 2x improvement in short-running queries. So these are queries that are still running on three terabytes of data, but run for about nine, uh, less than 90 seconds. And we see about roughly two times uh, improvement in the short-running queries. All of these improvements are coming from either configuration changes, uh, query planning uh, optimizations, uh, better way of running the execution engine on top of, uh, uh, on top of EMR. So for example, what we learned with short-running queries is the Spark dynamic uh, executor waits till it can really compute how many executors it needs to run. And once it has understood how many executors it needs to run, it starts spinning up those executors. So if you're running a query or if you're running a job that is really small, it kind of adds a little bit of variance, a little bit of latency towards that. So we added an, a, a new technique that uh, eagerly allocates work uh, executors before even the job starts, and that, Im that immediately uh, you can see that improves performance. So on this graph, you will see that what was the job runtime uh, on the x-axis, so you will see that it um, majorly impacts jobs that were on a short runtime frame, and you can see on the, on the y-axis, you will see the average speed up that we get across queries. Now, you don't have to do anything to get these performance improvements. You just have to upgrade to the new cluster, uh, to the new version of EMR, all of these changes are switched on by default, and you'll be able to run these without a problem. There are other improvements as well. For example, we added uh, improvements around dynamic partition pruning. So most of you who come from the database world uh, probably understand what dynamic partition pruning are. Basically, we are reducing the amount of data that we are reading based upon intelligent pruning of partitions on really large tables. And you can see that it adds a significant amount of performance uh, improve, uh, improvement to uh, long and short running queries. Again, 100% compatible with open source APIs. We are not breaking any open source APIs. The, your workload we run exactly. These are just query optimization techniques. There are other things that we have done. Like for example, we added some work on data prefetch that allows us to prefetch the data so that we can uh, uh, better utilize the CPU. So if you look at all the performance uh, uh, optimizations it kind of falls into any of these categories. There are configuration, driver executor, conf ratios, there's heap memory ratios, overheads, instance details. There are things like uh, dynamic partition pruning, which fall under the bracket of planning and optimization. There's data prefetch, which falls under query execution. 
And then there are improvements in the job startup time, like uh, eager uh, uh, executor allocation. So with all of these, what we're saying is the newer version of, uh, of EMR runs Spark much faster than the previous version. And if you do migrate, it is an automatic discount that you get because EMR charges you by the second. We have seen customers that have uh, the previous version running for four to eight to 16 hours, and when they have moved to the new version, the job run times have significantly decreased. And when the job run times decrease, your cost automatically goes down. 